Welcome to Moonlight Chasers, Severn Dale's most popular and fantastic plug bar. My name is Demetrius, and I'll be taking care of you this evening. May I get a beverage started for you? You're right, I am new. I started earlier this week, in fact. I think that you're a regular customer then? You normally stop by on Fridays after work? Hmm, I see. This does seem like an ideal spot to visit after a long work week. Although, I'm surprised it's this slow right now. It was insanely busy the last few nights, so I figured it would be even worse tonight. Turns out I was wrong. You're the first one who's walked through that door in the last hour. Huh. Wasn't aware there was a citywide event. So practically everyone is in the town square listening to live music. Interesting. This community is pretty tight knit, isn't it? Hmm. If that's the case, then why aren't you there? Ah, makes sense. You're the type that enjoys calm, quiet atmospheres. I mean, I can't say I blame you. Vampire crowds can get pretty loud and obnoxious. I can hardly hear myself think when I'm in the middle of them, so I end up fleeing most of the time. <laughs> now, back to why you came here in the first place. Uh, please allow me the honor to uh, prepare you a drink for you. Do you have something that you usually order, or would you like to try one of the monthly beverages? Sheila just finalized the list and had new menus printed. Here, if you're curious, take a look. A Bloody Mary is your go-to? I can get that started, unless there's something else that caught your eye. <laughs> I was talking about the drink on the menu, but thank you for the compliment. I must say, you are incredibly pleasing on the eye as well. Your smile in particular could make any human swoon and charm even the most stoic of vampires. I'm serious. Hasn't anyone ever told you how breathtaking you are? No. I find this hard to believe. As tragic as it is that no one has commented on your beauty, I'd be lying if I said this didn't work in my favor. Now, I know I can have you all to myself. My, my, for a vampire you get flustered quite easily. Don't worry. I think it's adorable. I think you're adorable. Okay, okay, I promise to ease up on the teasing. For now, at least. I wouldn't want to wear you out so soon. We have to, we have the rest of the evening after all. <laughs> Pardon me, I seem to be getting sidetracked again. You're wondering what I would recommend from the monthly sections? Hmm, that is a good question. I have two, but it depends on what type of mood you're in. Are you looking for something sweet or something spicy? For the sweet option, I'd suggest the Forbidden Fruit Kiss, which has prominent notes of red apple, pomegranate, and cherry. However, its most notable flavor is the silkiness of the rarest, most coveted blood type, AB negative. As for a spicier beverage. I've had several requests to make the devils in the details. It's a mix of O positive and A negative, drops of Lucifer's finest hot sauce, a healthy dose of cyane pepper, and several slices of habanero peppers. Oh, you prefer a hint of spice with your sweetness? Noted. Based on the smirk that you're giving me, I'm guessing that your preference for sweetness and spice applies to other areas in your life. 
That's good to know. Mm-hmm. For such a shy thing, you're rather cheeky. Luckily for you, I happen to like that. All right, then. Since you can't decide between the two beverages, how would you feel if I created a special blend of both? Excellent. I'll have that ready for you just in a moment. I think I'll call it Sinful Surprise. My apologies, I didn't ask for your name earlier. I have a feeling we'll be seeing more of each other, so it only seems appropriate that I learn more about you. What shall I call you? What a lovely name. It's nice to meet you. Out of curiosity, how long have you been coming to Moonlight Chasers? Five years. That's impressive. Given your history with this place, you're probably wondering what happened to Henry, right? <laughs> I've been getting that question a lot this week. Shayla knows everything, but she won't tell any of the employees, which is fair. Henry did leave a note for his replacement, so I gotta read that. Apparently his brother ran into trouble within the law, so he had to leave to help the, with the situation. He also said that he wasn't sure if he would be able to return to Severndale. He did have one instruction for me, and that was to tell the regulars that he would miss you all terribly. Even though I've never met him, he seems like a good guy. I hope he's okay. Here is your sinful surprise. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Judging by your enthusiastic sound of approval, may I assume it has an agreeable taste? Wait, really? It's the best drink you've had since coming here? That is a high compliment indeed. If I physically could, I would be blushing right now. It, it must be beginner's luck. I'm not an experienced bartender by any means. Actually, this is my first bartending job. I don't know why Sheila hard hired me. Honestly, my guess is that she must have been desperate to find a replacement for Henry on such short notice. You'd like to know how I ended up on this job? I promise you, it's not very exciting. It was really just a case of being at the right place at the right time. You sure you want to hear it? Very well, if you insist. About a week ago, I met Sheila at a grocery store near my apartment. I was out of my favorite type, O negative. So, I went to pick up a six pack. She was in line in front of me and we made small talk while we waited. She sounded stressed, so I asked her if everything was alright. She explained that she had to take on extra responsibilities since her bartender recently left. I mentioned that I was new to town and was looking for a job. She interviewed me the next day and I got a call soon after. The rest, as they say, is, is history. See? Not a riveting story at all. Thank you. I'm glad it worked out too. I was starting to worry that I wouldn't be able to find a job around here. I sent out a ton of applications, but I didn't hear back from most places. I think it's because no one wanted to hire someone from outside of city halls. Severndale may boast about inclusivity, but it's only welcoming for those who are already born and or raised here. Humans and vampires alike. For others, like me, we're treated as outsiders once our origins are revealed. 
Besides, Sheila and the other potential employers, you're the first to actually ask me where I'm from. Most assume that Verandianville was my former home. The laws over there aren't as strict as they are here, but the humans do receive some type of protection. I wish that assumption was true, but alas, it is not. Hey. Are you positive you'd like to know? If, if I tell you, it may change your opinion of me. And not for the better, either. I'm from... Rosewood. Yes, that Rosewood. The one heavily populated by humans, making it Bacallian feast for vampires. Our kind hides in the shadows, waiting to attack and feed upon humans. And at any time the humans get one step closer to figuring out what is attacking and killing them, the city's vampiric officials use an extreme method of mind control on them to erase any suspicion. I agree, it is horrible. That's why I left. There came a point where I couldn't do it anymore. It was fine in the beginning, thrilling even. I enjoyed going on hunts, stalking my next victim and gaining their trust so when they least expected I could sink my teeth into their neck and drain them. But over time the whole thing wore on me. I started to feel guilty because they weren't just nameless, faceless people I was killing. I started to realize they had lives, jobs, friends, families, loved ones. How could I be the one to take away all of that just because I needed to feed? I thought there might be another way for me to survive, so I started researching other areas that I could move to where humans were more protected. After spending months determining the best course of action, I left one night with the necessary documents to enter Sevendale. Once I reached the wall, I had a thorough and lengthy interview with the guards where I had to take a binding oath that I would not, under any circumstance, harm any human within the city. Reluctantly, they let me in. And I've been here ever since. I'm sorry. That was a lot of information I unloaded on you. I didn't really mean to burden you. I'm not being a burden? You sure? Well, thank you. I appreciate that you've been willing to listen. It means more to me than I say. I haven't spoken a word about this to anyone, so it's relief that I can finally release everything I've been keeping inside for a while. If if you don't mind, may I ask you a question? There's something that's been weighing on my mind for some time. Well, it's been a couple of months since I arrived and it's still so difficult for me to be close to humans without tracking and attacking them. I know that the blood we drink is donated by them with their full consent. Actually, it should still smell and taste of them, but as a vampire used to drink straight from the source, I can honestly tell you that it doesn't. The flavor changes significantly once it's bottled, packaged, or stored. I thought I would be content now that I'm receiving blood in a more humane way, but every day I still struggle. It's not even the act of preying on humans that I crave, it's... I certainly don't miss that. It's a taste I desperately miss. I'd like to know. How do you do it? How do you resist the temptation just to take a bite? Uh, 
Oh, I see. You were raised here your entire life, so you don't know what it's like to hunt humans. You've only seen them as your equals, as your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues, even your lovers. Every bit as your communities as the vampires are. <sighs> no, I don't think it's strange. It's Admiral, actually. I wish that every place in this world was like that. But given what you've told me, you can't empathize with my situation, can you? It's okay, it's not your fault. If I'd been raised within city walls, I'd probably have the same mindset as you do. Look, when I came to Severndale, I took an oath. And I have every intention of keeping it. They'll just... Learn. To live with these struggles. I'll be fine. Wait, are you serious? You have a colleague who moved here a year ago and is going through the same thing that I am? And you think they'd be willing to talk to me? That would be amazing. I know it's not a guarantee or anything, but I would really appreciate a chance to meet them. It's okay if they don't have all the answers. I'm not looking for an immediate solution, just some guidance or advice would be helpful. Here, um, it's my name, phone number, and email address. If your colleague feels comfortable reaching out to me, I'll respond right away. Thank you. You know you don't have to do any of this, right? I'm just a stranger to you, and yet all of you've been is kind to me tonight. Why is that? I... I like you, too. I mean, I have since the moment you started speaking. I, I can't explain it, but... I'm drawn to you. If you'll allow me, I'd very much like the opportunity to get you know outside of this place. I have no plans after we close. There's a park that I pass by on the way to work that I've always wanted to visit. Maybe we could walk there together? I promise I won't jeopardize the conversation this time. That, that sounds like a perfect plan. Until then, may I make you another drink? The glass is looking rather empty. Would you like another sinful surprise? <laughs> You'll take your usual then. One Bloody Mary, coming up. You can put your card away. Both drinks are on me tonight. I'll tell Sheila that I met an utterly charming individual and wanted to treat them. As long as I'm the one paying and not her, she won't mind. Trust me. No, 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 no. I'm the one that should be thanking you. When you first stepped inside, I thought I'd have to spend the evening making polite conversation and faking a smile. But that wasn't the case. Because what I didn't expect was a conversation to turn into something meaningful, real. I've been far more open tonight than I would have normally allowed myself to be. For the first time in, well, a while, I feel happy. Hopeful, even. So, thank you. <laughs> alright, alright. I've been sentimental enough. Time to get you that second drink. <laughs>